All right, guys, so in the last video, I talked about the whole process, the warm up process, all those things, how you can actually get back onto Facebook after being banned. But in this video, I want to mainly focus on how to create a remote desktop, which is what we're going to use to be able to get back to Facebook. So make sure you follow along so you'll be able to choose the right options. And I'm going to show you as well how to save up some massive amount of money by simply choosing the right option on Kamatera. So without further ado, let's dive in straight to my computer and create our first remote desktop. So after you sign up for your 30 days free trial with Kamatera and log in this is how the dashboard is going to look if you still haven't opened your account I will leave it down below for you to get 30 days free trial so after you get to this dashboard all you need to do is to go to over here to my cloud and you want to click on servers so over here this is where you are going to be able to create manage as many remote desktops as you want now make sure you actually follow along with me so I'm going to show you a method how to pay the least amount of money to Kamatera for running your remote desktop. So let's begin with creating a new server. So click on that. Then you want to select which kind of country you are from. So if you are from the United States, you can use just North America and then select one of these states over here. If you are from Europe, you also have a couple options over here, Middle East as well and Asia as well. So if your current location is not in any of them, you can just go ahead and create, let's say North America and that's it. So don't be worried about that. So in this example, I'm going to use New York the next thing that I need to do is to click over here on desktop OS images and click Windows over here you will have to select which version of Windows you want I do recommend to go with the lowest one so it will not get your remote desktop a little bit slower so just choose the 8.1 next thing that we need to do is to choose the server specs for the type I use D for the CPU I use 2 and for the RAM I use 2 as well and the last thing is the SDD disk just select the 30 gigs you don't need more than that and this is basically my specs setup now I will not go into too much detail exactly why did I select it this way this is what works for me so it actually does the purpose that I want while not being slow so you can go ahead and select something higher than that but this is going to be just unnecessary as you can see the billing cycle monthly you're going to pay $61 for this type of CPU but as I mentioned before we're going to select the hourly billing and this is how you're going to save yourself a lot a lot of money running this remote desktop on Kamatera. So make sure you select hourly billing. Okay, I'm going to explain that in just a sec, a little bit more in depth. Next thing that we need to do over here is to scroll down to this point. This is going to be where you're going to set up your password. And let's insert that again. And over here, you can name your server. Let's put in test. And again, make sure you select the hourly billing cycle. And the reason for that is very, very simple. As you can see, when the server is going to be power off, which basically means that that whenever the, the server is going to be off, you're only going to pay 6.57 per month. This is super, super cheap. I mean, I pay like six, seven bucks per server that I have. And the reason for that is because Facebook ads, you don't need to manage it all day long. And all the rest of the things like working on your Shopify store, all the rest of the things, you don't need the remote desktop. Only for logging into your Facebook, this is the only time that we're going to use the server. So unless you're following a crazy strategy, which takes hours and hours every single day to run your Facebook ads, which in my opinion is very wrong. You will not be really using the remote desktop at all, maybe up to an hour per day. This is at least what I use. So again, make sure you choose the hourly billing cycle and click on create server. So now let's wait until it's going to actually create the server. It's going to take a couple of minutes and I will show you what we're going to do from there. All right, now that it's finished, let's go ahead and actually log in to the remote desktop. Now I'm using Mac operation system. So if you're using Windows, it's going to be much easier for you so if you're using Mac like myself you will have to install this app called Microsoft remote desktop it's totally free so don't worry just go ahead and install it and after you do make sure to open it and it's going to open you this window over here this is where you're going to manage your different remote desktops on this one I have two so what we need to do right now is we need to go ahead and create the new remote desktop connection so all you need to do is to click on the plus sign over here and then you want to add a PC over here in the PC name you're going to pay paste the IP address that we're going to get from here. So let's go ahead and click open and you see you have your IP address over here. So copy to clipboard and paste it over here. Over here in user account, just add the user account and call it an administrator because this is basically the default login username. So just for the example, let's go ahead and create one and click over here. And this is where you're going to add the username and the password. So the username always going to be administrator and the password is going to be the password that 
that you set up so i'm going to type it in over here friendly name this is basically the name that you're going to give for the remote desktop i'm going to do test and click add and after that just click the blue button on add and that's pretty much it so let's try to go ahead and log in to the remote desktop all right click on continue and all right give it a sec boom there you go it's a fresh new remote desktop this is a windows operation system unfortunately they don't have mac but there you go this is a brand new computer that you can use with no data on it like nothing you don't even have like a chrome extension browser over here so you will have to actually install it after you install the chrome browser all you need to do is just to log in to your facebook account or the account that you got from a relative or something like that you will have to go the process of verification once and after you do that that's it you just every single time you turn on the server and you log in to that facebook account from this remote desktop it's super super powerful and it works till this day so this is how i manage and run my facebook accounts now last thing that i want to show you is that you want to make sure that you actually let's close this first you want to make sure that you turn off your server over here okay you click on actions and you click on power off and power off you want to make sure every single time you finish the task or the job that you made on the facebook account on that server you want to make sure you power off the server and this is how you're going to pay just six seven eight bucks per month instead of 60 plus dollars per month super super simple guys as you can see if you have any type of questions let me know or comment down below all right folks so this is exactly how we need to create our remote desktop to be able to successfully get back on facebook these are the exact options that i use in terms of speed how much i pay and that it actually will work i hope you took some massive value out of it if you did make sure you drop a like and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks again for watching and i will see you on the next one peace